Good morning, children. On behalf of Holywell Primary School, I'm very happy and excited to um, invite our guest, honorable guest, Mr. Rishi Sunak, to our online listen today. Team, how are you? How is everyone? Good? A few thumbs up, a few waves. Hi. Right, thanks for letting me join your maths class. I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm hopeful that I can uh, do, do the sums properly. See, I've got my own whiteboard here, and I've come, I've come with my pen, and Miss Sankara told me we're going to do some angles today, so I'm all ready. But let me tell you very briefly what I do. So my name's Rishi, and the, uh, the job that I have is called Chancellor of the Exchequer. Uh, I'm delighted to have a chance to do some maths with you first, and then, Miss Sankara, we've got some questions. Is that right? Yeah, we have a Q&A session after this, Mr. Sonic. So if we start with our lesson today, uh, uh, which is about calculating some missing angles, which we've been doing all this uh, throughout this week. So who's got the first one? Raise your hands up, Birch. There are many hands 17 up. 17 times 7. Um, uh, 119. Brilliant. Uh, 119. That's done. Thank you. We can move on to the next question if you'd like. Perfect. We've got 7 squared plus 1. Right. Who have we got? Omi. Omi, hi, I'm Rishi. Great. Have, we got, have you got an answer for me? Yeah, 50. Well done. That is spot on. 7 times 7 is 49 plus 1. All right, next. We've got 7.1 plus 0 0.05. We're, who hasn't asked, uh, answered yet? Adam. 7.15. Yes, 7.15. One five. Yeah, perfect. Right, excellent. Next up, we've got. Sorry, we do a bit of rubbing out. Right. Okay. Question one: Which of the following angles is acute? A, B, or C? Hands up. A. A. Absolutely right. The answer is A. So, because we know an acute angle is going to be less. Than uh, less than a right angle, less than 90 degrees. So it's the small angle. Well done. All right, should we go on to question two? If an angle lies between 180 and 360, is that A, a right angle, B, obtuse, or C, reflex? Okay, who's got an answer to this? Uh, Adam? R reflex angle? Yeah, that's right. It's the outside angle, isn't it? It's the big one on the outside. Question three. Oh, this is good. Right. We've got two angles, A plus B. Do they add up to 190 degrees? True or false? Okay. Uh, how about Willan? I don't think you haven't answered the question. False. False. Do you know what they add up to? Yes, 180 degrees. That is spot on, because it's 90 degrees for a right angle, and there's two right angles, so 90 plus 90 is 180. Excellent. Right, and then question four. We've got angles in a triangle add up to, and angles in a quadrilateral add up to. So who can tell me which, how do we match these two? Angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So if we've got a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, those angles add up to 360. And if we've got a triangle, they add up to 180. That is going to be a very helpful thing to know. Was there any more? You guys, you guys are very good. You know all your stuff. You've got a fantastic maths teacher, I think is the moral of this story. You would like to keep your cameras on because we are moving on to the Q&A session now. Over to you, Mr. Sonek and uh, Birch Class Children. I've got a question from Adam. Adam, do you want to ask your question? How is it like being a politician? It's really busy, so it's a lot of work. And the other thing that you need to know is it's really rewarding because you get to help people. And when you help them, then that feels really great that you're able to do something to help people. So that feels fantastic. And then the last thing you need to know is uh, at least half of the time, lots of people are very upset with whatever you do. So even though you're trying your best and you're doing what you think is right, there'll always be some people who disagree with you and, and they will say some things and you can't let it impact you. So you've got to develop some thick skin to get through that and just work hard, do your best and, and not worry too much about what people are saying. So those are my three top tips for being a politician. Are, are you tempted? 
No. No. Oh, no. OK, I didn't do a good job at persuading you. All right. Next up, Ariba. Um, how did you become part of the UK government? First of all, you have to become an MP. And you become an MP because lots of people in an area, like all your mums and dads, will have voted for their MP. And I think your MP may even be joining us. Dean, are you there somewhere? I'm here, Chancellor. Thank you so much for introducing me. And hello, children. And a big shout out to Dean. So every area of the country has their own MP. Uh, so Dean is your MP. So that's job one. You've got to persuade lots of people to vote for you in an election. Uh, do you guys have an election to vote for your cl you know, class president or head of school or sc class monitors and things? Yeah, Ariba, a bit of a, yes, you guys do that? Brilliant, right. So your mums and dads have to do that. They chose Dean because they thought he was going to be fantastic. But the great thing is that we're part of a team. So in Parliament, there are different teams. Like you guys are Team Birch. Dean and I are on the blue team, so that we, you know, we, our team is called the Conservative team, and then there's another team, which is the red team, that's the Labour Party, and then there are some others. So what's quite nice is you have a team of people, and you're all on the same team trying to work together. Next up, Arshak. Do you like nature? Oh, I love it. So I am really lucky. So Dean's your MP, I'm the MP for a place way up in the north of England in Yorkshire and it's incredibly beautiful and it's all countryside and we have two national parks the Yorkshire Dales National Park and the North York Moors so hopefully in school at some point you can uh, you can study and so we spend a lot of our time making sure that we look after that countryside uh, so one of my favorite things to do is doing litter picks do you guys ever do a litter pick do you go and pick up rubbish from the parks and things sometimes only kind of half a nod I saw so that's the kind of thing that we do in our head. To keep it all clean and tidy, we, we do litter picks quite a lot. So that's one of the things that I do. Right, next, Baron. Who's the biggest influence in your life? Ah, right. So probably uh, my mum and dad. So my dad's a doctor. My mum is a pharmacist. And when I grew up, I worked with them. And they did a lot of work just helping everyone in our community by being a pharmacist, by being a doctor. And I thought that was pretty cool that they could help so many people. And I thought when I grow up, I wanted to um, also try and, and do some of that. And I'm going to do that as an MP. And, and so that, that's my main, main influence. How did you choose the job of a Chancellor of Exchequer? So it, you know, I didn't get to choose. What happened is the Prime Minister asked me if I would uh, do the job, which was very nice of him. So he has, uh, there are lots of people in government, all of whom are ministers, and we all have different jobs to do. But then there are about 20 of us who are the senior ministers, and we are called, the name of our special team is called the Cabinet. And we sit around this green table in a room called the Cabinet Room and help the Prime Minister run the country. Um, and so that, he asked me to do that about a year ago. And so I've been doing it. And one very special thing you have to do when you're Chancellor is every year, um, I stand outside on Downing Street uh, and then go over to Parliament and do something called a budget where I set out for the year, this is what the country's going to do, how we're going to raise our money, what we're going to spend our money on, just like you guys all do at home with your pocket money. And I thought I'd bring this and show you. So well, you'll see me do this next month, actually. So I'll stand outside the black door on Downing Street uh, where, where the Prime Minister and I live and I hold this briefcase up and inside the briefcase is my speech. And then I go over to Parliament and then I make a speech that explains what we're going to do. So if you check out with, uh, with your teachers in about a month's time, you might see me doing that. So that's one of the Chancellor jobs. What was your favourite subject when you were younger? What was my favourite subject? Uh, my number one favourite subject was economics. My other A-levels were English, which I love, and maths. So those are my three A-level subjects. Do you have a favourite sport? Definitely, I have, I have two. Am I allowed to? So football and cricket are my two, two favourites. So I'm from Southampton, so I'm a big Southampton Football Club fan. And, uh, and then I love cricket as well. What do you want to achieve in 2021, Mr Sunak? Oh, wow. What do I want to achieve? Right, well, first, I, you know, I told you about this budget, right, when I have to hold this thing up and go and do that. That's really important job for me. So once a year when I do that, that has to go well. 
So the most important thing work-wise is I've got, to, I've got to get that budget done next month and make sure it goes okay. So that's the number one priority. And then also we've just got to get these vaccines rolled out and make sure we can all try and get our lives back to normal. So those are the big priorities for this year. Would you guys like things to get back to normal? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, a lot of nodding. Yes, exactly. So that's the plan for this year. And what's lockdown like for you? Right, well, it, it's not great, is it, really? Uh, I have two girls who are in years um, three and five. So they are currently at home, like many of you, and uh, would rather be with all their friends at school. And they're not seeing their grandparents at all, and I haven't seen my mum and dad for ages. So, you know, it's, it's for all of us. It's really difficult, right? But we've got to do it, hopefully, for not very much longer. And then once we get these vaccines to everybody, we can start getting our lives back to normal. Um, thank you guys so much for letting me come and crash your maths lesson. Uh, I was incredibly impressed. Uh, Miss Sankara has done an amazing job. You guys are very lucky to have her as your maths teacher. Hopefully she can come and help me at some point with all the sums that I have to do. And maybe if you, if you talk to Dean, uh, you guys should all come and visit us in Parliament. Wouldn't that be good, Dean? Absolutely, I'd love to bring them. So uh, that's an open invitation. And, and thank you, Chancellor, for, for visiting Watford, even though it's virtual. Thank you. Yeah, no, absolute pleasure. So you guys, hopefully Dean can come and see you all and then you should organise a trip with him and he can come and show you around Parliament. And if I'm around, I can come and say hello and you guys can pop in. But it'd be lovely to see you and you come and see what Dean get up to in Parliament and come and see Downing Street. It would be fantastic. Do you think you like the sound of that? <laughs>